Wayland is once again a hot topic of discussion, and I know some people partially want to blame me for that, but I'm only a small part here. You should expect over the next coming years, Wayland to be a big part of community discourse, and with this growing discussion, I've been seeing more and more people willing to give Wayland an honest, fair try, but with that, I've been seeing a bit of confusion about Wayland and some of its components, and this makes sense. Basically for the entire life of Linux, if you want a graphical environment, you've used X. Whether that's X3D6 in the early days, or Xorg nowadays, which forked from that project. And yes, there was that brief period where Canonical was doing stuff with Mer, but we know how Mer turned out. Now the way we talk about Wayland doesn't 100% transfer back and forth with X. I think the most obvious confusion is when some people first discover Western. I've seen a few people here and there discussing Western as if it's an equivalent to Xorg, where on the X side, Xorg is your display server, and then if you want to run something like KDE, KDE is then run on top of Xorg. Western is not like that at all. This right here is the Western repo. This is a lightweight and functional Wayland compositor. It's something you can go and download and use right now and it's gonna work perfectly fine. But that's not the only purpose of Western. One of its major purposes is to be a reference or example implementation of how to make a Wayland compositor built on top of the Wayland protocols. Western is not at all involved in running KDE or GNOME. Western is not a general display server that every environment is running on. Western shows you how you can go and make your own Wayland compositor. So it may be involved in GNOME or KDE when they were first designing it, they may have forked from it, they may have used some code, they may have took some inspiration, but when it comes to the daily operation, it's not involved whatsoever. Now, besides just being a reference implementation, Western does have another purpose. It describes itself as, out of the box, Western provides a very basic desktop or a full-featured environment for non-desktop uses, such as automotive, embedded, in-flight, industrial, kiosks, set-top boxes, and TVs. I'll get back to some of this in just a bit. But before we get to that, during that early discussion, I used a couple of terms that should probably be expanded upon, those being compositor and protocols. I think it's best to start with the latter. Now, much like the term Linux, where Linux has expanded to mean a lot more than just the Linux project, the Linux kernel, now it means the entire operating system, Wayland has expanded to mean a lot more than just the protocols. Now, you can use it to refer to the entire display stack. But strictly speaking, Wayland is just that set of protocols, and those protocols can be explored with things like the Wayland Protocol Explorer. Now, when I say the term protocol, basically all I mean is an agreed upon method of doing some sort of operation. Basically a standardized function that everybody agrees to use. Now, the main set of Wayland protocols are called the core Wayland protocols. This is the absolute fundamentals of what makes Wayland Wayland. But over time, things are going to be developed, things are going to be added, and you need some way of bringing things into the standard. So there is also stable, staging, and unstable, which contains protocols at varying levels of discussion and development. And by the time a protocol makes its way into stable, it's expected that the protocol is stable. There is not going to be a future version that majorly changes how the protocol is supposed to function. But that's just the main set of protocols. Certain environments and certain developers may need extra protocols as well. So in that case, you have things like WLR unstable, KDE unstable, and even 
Western Unstable, where people are making protocol extensions to do whatever things they need to do. In the case of Western, you have some infotainment stuff in here. During this, you may have noticed something. By itself, Wayland is completely useless, much like X11 is completely useless. All Wayland is, is documentation, and documentation doesn't really do much by itself. What needs to be done is taking this documentation and then implementing the protocols that are described. That implementation is what is known as a Wayland compositor. Now on the X side, you may have heard the term compositor. This is that thing that lets you have window blur, transparency, animations, and things like that. Then you have your window manager. This is what manages the placement of the windows. And then you have your display server. This is what implements the X11 protocols, and then all your applications, all your environment runs on top of the display server. The current display server that everyone uses is XOR. On the Wayland side, however, all of those operations still need to exist, but they're generally not done by separate applications. All of these are typically handled by the one Wayland compositor. This is a compositor, a window manager, and display server all in one package. Before someone gets to my case, I know that River does things a little bit differently. I know River has these layout generators like Kyle, River Lua Tile, River Caro, River Caro, however you say the name, but River is kind of the exception to the rule. Most compositors do everything in one little thing. Why it's like this and whether it needs to be like this is a whole topic unto itself, but just for now know that this is the way it's done on all the major desktops. Now, more colloquialisms. A lot of the time people will say GNOME and KDE are Wayland compositors. This works as a descriptor, it gets the message across, but it's not exactly correct. GNOME and KDE are full desktop environments. They include applications, themes, configurations, all of the other stuff you'd expect to be there for a desktop environment, and also a Wayland compositor. The compositor on GNOME is called Mutter, and the compositor on KDE is called Kwin. It's not a massively important distinction, but it is nice to know. But if you're interested in things outside of that space, you are almost certainly going to come across terms like WL Roots, maybe even Smithy, and maybe even Lib Western. Maybe the Lib part of the name gives it away, but these are what are known as compositor libraries. These are not compositors by themselves, but at a fundamental level, Every compositor is going to have to do similar things. They're all going to have to like manage your window locations, manage user input, deal with these protocols and all this fun stuff. So rather than just writing everything from scratch, why don't you just use a library that does a lot of that heavy lifting for you and then focus on the things that make your Wayland compositor actually different? And as for examples of things that use these libraries, for W roots you have things like Sway, River, DWL, Hyperland, Qtile. For the Smithy side, you have Cosmic, the new environment being made for PopOS. And LibWestern is a little bit harder to find because most stuff on the desktop isn't really using Western. But I did find this thing for a system known as Automotive Grade Linux, and they have a compositor simply called AGL Compositor, which means Automotive Grade Linux Compositor. So hopefully all that clears up some of the absolute basic confusion around Wayland. Western is not a display server like Xorg. Let's just have that go away. Let's deal with that as quickly as possible so we don't see it crop up again and again and again, but it probably will. Yeah. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you run Wayland? Do you, have you tried Wayland? Have you tried it recently? I would love to know. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, 
want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe to Liberape, linked in the description down below. Uh, this is going to be it. And uh, Wayland is the future. Get over it. Yeah. <laughs>